8, 7 Central. It's a rare sight, snow in Mississippi. Cold weather turns some roads into a wintry mess. We'll take you around the metro. Plus, hundreds attend Jackson's annual Martin Luther King Day Parade, next. Action Health, finding a doctor. This is 16 WAPT News at 6. Bills around you. Hello, I'm Ken Johnson with First Weather. We got some video to show you this morning. Snow falling across central and south Mississippi. This is video a couple girls playing in snow for the first time in Madison. Not a whole lot of snow in Madison, but enough to coat some of the elevated surfaces. Those cars have a little snow on them and also some snow on the rooftops. Just enough to put in the pail, make a few snowballs, maybe a small snowman, and also good for some snow ice cream. We've also got a lot of pictures that were sent in to us from some of our viewers, this is uh, pictures of some kids playing in the snow here in the Jackson area. We've also got other pictures from various parts of the state. This is across southern Mississippi down near Brookhaven. Heavy snow falling there, almost two inches of snow in Brookhaven today. And more pictures from south Mississippi. This is some more pictures of the heavy snow falling down in the Brookhaven and McComb area. This is McComb where they saw two inches of snow down there. Snow piling up on the roadways. A decent sized snowman built in that yard. And some more pictures of snow that coated the rooftops in Brandon. Now, these are some of the official snowfall totals across parts of the state, dusting across the Jackson metropolitan area. Further south, down towards Macomb, one to two inch totals. Over towards Raleigh, south towards Hattiesburg, some two to four inch rainfall totals. Over on our other storm shield source now, we're seeing our snowstorm push off to the east. A lot of snow across north Georgia into the Carolinas now. It will continue pushing away from our area. Quickly over to the weather maps now. Our forecast for tonight, clear sky. It's going to be cold. Low temperatures by morning near 20, 47 for your high on Sunday. All right, thank you, Ken. Tonight's lead story is the weather. As Ken mentioned, snow blanketed portions of Mississippi early this morning. It's the first time we've seen snow in more than seven years. Good evening, I'm Desiree Frazier. The weather caused at least 18 accidents south of the metro in Hattiesburg. One was serious. This is what it looked like this morning in the metro. One of the hardest hit places was in Rankin County near Star and Florence. The snow was welcomed by some, while others were upset they had to change their traveling plans. 16 WAPT's Joseph Pleasant hit the road early to talk to folks about today's wintry weather. Saturday morning, people around central Mississippi woke up to something they haven't seen in more than seven years. Snow. These girls expected to see only a few flurries. When they saw all of this snow, they rushed out to play, some in their pajamas. So how long y'all going to stay out here? All day. As long as it snows. Yeah, I never saw snow in South Africa. Rebecca Riley and her parents were missionaries in South Africa for eight years. Saturday morning, Rebecca bundled up and grabbed her digital camera. She wanted pictures of the rare Mississippi snowfall. It's awesome. I love it. I was really blessed to see it this morning. Others wouldn't necessarily call it a blessing. I hate cold I've been happy every day. The snow forced this Southern Miss student headed to Hattiesburg for school to stop and cover his furniture. No doubt a good idea. The further south we traveled on Highway 49, the heavier the snowfall. Visibility was moderate at best just south of Braxton. The Mississippi Highway Patrol worked 18 weather-related accidents in the Hattiesburg area. One serious. Big deal or not, after this snowy Saturday, many hope they don't have to wait years to see snow again. Hi. It's some told us they were glad they could make a snowball for the first time in about seven years. Others told us they would be glad when the snow's gone. Joseph Pleasant, 16, WAPT News. Nice, but rare, as he said. MDOT says no roads had to be closed. MDOT crews statewide were on call Friday night just in case the roads became icy. But the weather did cause some air traveling delays. Delta canceled three flights out of Atlanta headed to Jackson. Here is video recorded around 8 this morning using our network of sky cams and you can see the snow really coming down from our cap tower sky cam in downtown Jackson. It's got the lens blocked just about. Here's what it looked like from our Ridgeland sky cam at I-55 near County Line Road. You can see the snow flurries that met drivers out that way and we have a more scenic view from our South Jackson sky cam. The trees were blanketed in white snow off of Highway 18 just outside our TV station. As you know, we don't see much snow here in the metro. 
Metro. Some folks couldn't wait to go outside. Others would rather just look out the window or a door. Take a look. Michaela, this little girl in Clinton, could not decide if she liked the snow or not. It appeared to be more of a mystery to the four-year-old. Her parents say it's the first time she's ever seen snow. And this is how it looked in Clinton on Spring Ridge Road and Clinton Parkway as the snow came down. <laughs> In Madison, even animals went out to check out the snow. Meet Lucky. His owner, as you can see, decked him out in a blue sweater to keep him warm. He's barking at it. Snow made roads in Raymond a slippery, wet mess all morning. This is video of Highway 18 in Raymond. We caught up with some drivers at a gas station. They had mixed reactions about today's snowy weather. As the bridges don't ice up and everything, it ain't too bad. You know, uh, it's on the weekend. It could have been during the week. Maybe they would have closed us down and we could have taken a day off from work. <laughs> at least it's going to be very nice. Hey, it's a day. <laughs> Many people here in Mississippi are not used to it, but uh, they're glad to see it. It's messing me up because I, I want to be in the parade right now. <laughs> so I wish it wouldn't snow like this, but hey, it's fun. It looks fun. Oh, it should stop snowing so dog be in the parade because I want to perform because this is my first time in the parade. Okay. Well, those two boys, like hundreds of others, were eager to participate, as you heard, in a parade. And today is the Jackson Annual Martin Luther King Day Parade. It was held despite the cold. Folks lined the streets from Freedom Corner in Jackson to enjoy the parade. <laughs> Frank Melton, who underwent surgery last week, was out shaking hands. School marching bands and drill teams also got a chance to strut their stuff. Martin Luther King Jr.'s day is officially celebrated Monday, January 21st. We've received a lot of snow photos from viewers today. This snowman image was sent in from 16 WAPT viewer Caitlin Walker. Walker says the eyes are made of cherry tomatoes and his buttons, nose and mouth are made of sweet gumballs. Lori Turnage from Mize sent in her picture of a snowman sitting next to Killer the cat. Okay, Turnage wrote after watching the news and weather on your channel last night, I hope for snow today. And I woke up to this wonderful wonderland, not something we see often enough. If you have any photos from today's rare Mississippi snowstorm, email us at news at wapt.com. And remember, you can check on weather or weather related cancellations anytime. Just log on to wapt.com and click on Storm Shield 16. Federal agents say they've arrested more than 200 illegal immigrants over the past week. One of them, a murder suspect wanted in El Salvador. The arrests are part of a sting. Border Patrol agents call it Operation Uniforce. They're targeting the smuggling of illegal immigrants along I-20. Forty Border Patrol agents are set up along Interstate 20 in Vicksburg. Agents say most of the illegal immigrants enter the U.S. through the southwestern border headed to the East Coast. I-10 used to be uh, a problem until we did uh, started to do uh, operations on, on that highway. We took that highway away from them and of course they moved their operations north to I-20 and we are in the stages of taking this highway away from them also. Operation Uniforce continues through the weekend. The Border Patrol says most of the illegal immigrants are from Mexico. Jackson police are searching for the man who robbed a North Jackson hotel. Select 10 was hit around 10 this morning. Police say a man walked inside the lobby, pulled out a gun and demanded money. He ran away with an unknown amount of cash. If you have any information about the case, call Crime Stoppers, the number on your screen, 601-355-TIPS. A Jackson daycare had to close temporarily after someone stole the electrical meter. The owner of Dottie's Daycare on West Northside Drive in Jackson closed yesterday. Entergy is working to replace the electrical box so power can be restored. The daycare will hopefully reopen on Tuesday. Still ahead tonight, somber moments in North Carolina. A prayer vigil is held for a murdered Marine. And who pulled out the latest wins in the primaries? We've got the details ahead, but first.
snow may be gone, but cold temperatures are not. Already down to 35 in Jackson, 34 in Vicksburg, and by morning, most locations way down in the 20s. We'll have a complete look at your forecast. Could see some wet weather return. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Wherever the story is, Afghanistan, Iran, on the campaign trail, in the middle of raging wildfires, in Pakistan as history was made, no one gets to the heart of the story better for you than the team of ABC's Good Morning America. I know what good it is. Good is family and friends getting together and starting the new year off right with the best deals on the best family meals around. Like four freshly baked, made from scratch, honey butter biscuits with nine juicy crunchy pieces for only $6.99. Churches. I have this kind of radar in my head that tells me when a steak is done exactly right. My friends call it steak dar. You want it medium? You got it. Well done, I can sense it. It's like ESP for steaks. At Golden Corral, we have over 100 choices on our buffet, including our new thick, tender black Angus sirloin filet, all for one low price. Steak dar, it's a gift. There's no place like Golden Corral. Somewhere over at the rainbow, you better bring your appetite because the brand new Riverview Buffet has prime rib nightly, along with over 40 new menu items and the best view of the Mississippi River around. That's what I'm talking about. The brand new Riverview Buffet, only at Rainbow Casino. They say, don't talk the talk if you can't walk the walk. For 31 straight years, we've backed up our talk with some of the toughest, most popular trucks on the road. Enough said. Get up to $5,000 in total savings or 0.9% for 60 months on the 08 Super Crew Chrome Edition. See your local Ford dealer today. I know what good it is. I know what good it is. Friends getting together and started the new year off right with new big bowl favorites. Good Ooh. is a wings lunch at churches. Right now, get six new boneless wings and fries for only $2.99. Churches. You're watching the Emmy Award winning 16 WAPT News at 6. Built around you with Desiree Frazier, meteorologist Jennifer Cook, and sports with Brittany Deal. Folks in North Carolina held a prayer vigil today for a murdered Marine. Hundreds gathered in Jacksonville in memory of Lance Corporal Maria Lauterbach. An autopsy released earlier this week revealed Lauterbach died from blunt trauma to the head. It's believed she died around December 15th, long before she was reported missing. Authorities are searching for Corporal Caesar Lorian. Lauterbach's body was found buried in his backyard. Continuing our Commitment 2008 coverage, one day, two states, three presidential primary contests in Nevada. Caucuses earlier today had handed victories to Republican Mitt Romney and Democrat Hillary Clinton. Romney says Republicans have cast their votes for change, and he's the man to provide it. In South Carolina, problems with voting machines. One community found 90% of its voting machines did not work when polls opened today. Well, as we head to break, a live look outside from our Cap Towers sky cam. And coming up, Kim will have a look at your weekend weather forecast. You're watching 16 WAPT News at 5. Action Chrysler Jeep Dodge has the incentives, the selection, and best of all, zero plus. Featuring rebates on every vehicle. Like this 08 Jeep Grand Cherokee with auto and air, $23,995. An 08 Dodge Avenger with auto and air, $17,495. Or an 08 Dodge Charger with auto and air, $20,495. Plus, every new vehicle comes with a lifetime powertrain warranty. You want action? We've got it. Action Chrysler Jeep Dodge. I-55 North at the Briarwood exit. Jackson. And did you see what she was wearing? Ew. Wanna play? Hey, come on, let's go for a ride in the new caravan. The all-new Dodge Grand Caravan, bringing families together like never before. You know, you're not so bad, Bobby. It's really? I knew that. Now get 0% financing plus a $500 cash allowance on Dodge Grand Caravan. Congratulations to the Murrah High Girls basketball team. Selected as the Watson Quality Ford Home Team of the Week, the Lady Mustangs are 17-0 and, 
and rank number one in the state. Congratulations to the Murrah High Girls basketball team. How does Emergency boost your health and your energy? With energizing B vitamins and a thousand milligrams of immune boosting C. Emergency. Feel the good. How does Emergency boost your health and your energy? With a powerful formula built on a thousand milligrams of vitamin C to give your immune system a fighting chance. Emergency. Feel the good. On the next CSI Miami weekends, a powerful hurricane leaves devastation in its wake. Don't leave me. I'm right here. Next CSI Miami weekends. Tonight at 1035 on 16 WAPT. Now 16 WAPT weather with meteorologist Jennifer Cook and your exclusive live storm shield 16 Doppler radar. All right, Ken Johnson in for Jennifer Cook. These are my kids in McGee this morning out having a good time playing in the snow. This is their first snow that they have ever seen. That's haze running around out there, falling down. And of course, they got to throw snowballs at dad. And I'm going to get them back. I'm going to throw snowballs at them too and hit Holisty in the back of the coat there. Of course, they like to catch the snowflakes on their tongue, and I know that my kids weren't the only ones. A lot of kids out there seeing snow for the first time. Ridgeland Sky Cam, snow is all gone. Roadways are dry, and although freezing temperatures are in the forecast tonight, no threat of ice on roadways because they have dried out nicely. 35 now, northwest winds at 12 miles per hour. We should drop below freezing, I think, within the next hour. Today's high in Jackson, 38. Low temperature this morning was 33, and officially we saw just over a quarter of an inch of rainfall, and maybe some parts across the metro seeing maybe a half of an inch of snow at the most in metro, but more the further south you went. Let's go to live storm shield 16 Doppler radar. Pictures sent in for some viewers. George Dunn in Scott County. The snow over here, about an inch of snow on the ground. And my cousin down in Liberty, Mississippi, sending us also, Brent McMillan sending us these pictures with some of the first snow he's ever seen down there in the Liberty area. Now, let's go to the weather maps. Talk about this rare Mississippi snow event. Again, metro counties dusting to maybe a half an inch. A little bit further south, Brookhaven, and Macomb, one to two inch snow fall totals and maybe a little bit more from Taylorsville down Hattiesburg down Highway 49 two to four inch rain, uh, snowfall totals in those areas. We knew we'd see a little bit of snow across central Mississippi and it wasn't out of the question that they would see it in south Mississippi but two to four inch snowfall totals that was a little bit of a surprise. Area of low pressure cold air coming in on the back side of that allowed that rain to change over to snowfall. Now that system quickly heads off to the east snows in the Carolinas now on the back side of that cold high pressure is building in skies are clearing temperatures already dropping into the mid 30s lower 30s and below freezing across the northern counties by morning looks like wind should begin to drop off as they drop off look for those low temperatures to settle down into the lower 20s area wide and after a very cold start on sunday morning temperatures rise into the middle and upper 40s with sunshine around the area high pressure is going to begin shifting off to the east as it does so south winds return and temperatures moderate in a hurry both Monday and Tuesday could see some more rain move our way around Tuesday, Wednesday with another frontal system approaching the area from out west. So snow is gone, but very cold conditions tonight with clear skies, 20 degrees for your overnight low. Cold start tomorrow, still cold in the afternoon, 47 degrees east southeasterly winds at 10. So that is a sign of change. Another cold night tomorrow night, 27 for the low under mostly clear skies. Here's that seven day forecast. It looks like this week could turn out to be a chilly week. Kind of wet as well. A couple of weather systems headed our way, and we could wind up with seeing several bouts of rain. Right now, no ice or snow in the forecast this week, but uh, certainly does look like a gloomy week. So, nice to see the snow mm -hmm. this morning, Desiree. People love to see it. Fun for the kids. It's fun to see. You know why I like it in Mississippi? Because it's an event. It doesn't mm -hmm. happen here very often, so it's a fun event. It's only around for a few hours, then it melts and goes away. You're right. Thank you so much, Ken. <laughs> Up next, Mother Nature not having an impact on the hard court. Brittany Deal has highlights from around the SEC next. Live Storm Shield 16 is brought to you by State Bank and Trust Company with nine locations in the metro area, now located on Cybo Road in Byram. McDonald's. You have more left over for the other things you love.
So grab a McDonald's cool, thirst-quenching 32-ounce large soft drink or large sweet tea for just a buck each. Refreshing taste at a refreshing price. Congratulations to the Murrah High Girls basketball team. Selected as the Watson Quality Ford Home Team of the Week, the Lady Mustangs are 17-0 and ranked number one in the state. Congratulations to the Murrah High Girls basketball team. I don't understand diabetes, but I hear it causes heart disease and strokes. It can be bad, but how do you know if you have it? They test you. Check your blood sugar or something. My mother has diabetes. It can't be controlled. She'll tell you, you better take care of yourself. If you have diabetes risk factors or symptoms, you need to take control. Call 1-866-602-3300 or visit HealthyDelta.com for a free diabetes risk test and help finding a doctor. I got a money now loan today at Jackson Hewitt. And they work even faster than we do. What do you mean? Oh, I just walked in with my W-2. And next thing I know, I'm walking out with a loan check. It was quick and it was easy. My tax guy didn't have a money now loan. Well, I'm still waiting for that money. And he knows I could really use it. Come in now or you'll wish you did later. Yoshi! Jackson Hewitt, get more in return. Action Chrysler Jeep Dodge has the incentives, the selection, and best of all, zero plus, featuring rebates on every vehicle. Like this 08 Dodge Ram Quad Cab with automatic and air, $19,995. Or an 07 Dodge 2500 4x4 SLT diesel with automatic. Take $11,000 off the sticker. Save thousands on all remaining 07 models in stock. Plus, every new vehicle comes with a lifetime powertrain warranty. You want action? We've got it. Action Chrysler Jeep Dodge. I-55 North at the Briarwood exit. Jackson. You said you needed more local news in the morning to start your day, and we listen. Now 16 WAPT News this morning has the only full-time reporter and crew covering local news where you live every morning. Start your day with 16 WAPT News this morning built around you. Now 16 WAPT Sports with Brittany Deal. Good evening, everyone. Mississippi State has been under the nationwide radar at 12 and 5 on the season. It may not be enough to compete with the top ranked teams in the country, but an undefeated record in the SEC, well, that speaks volumes. Today, they got a chance to stay perfect in the conference at snowy Tuscaloosa. Early in the first, state down by four. Jamont Gordon has a quick solution from the key state, made 12 of 26 from three point land. Gordon's been working on that long ball in practice perfecting his arc and it shows all right that's just another of his game high 24 under five to play state on the fast break and Charles Rhodes all up in their face him with a huge slam dunk MSU on top 59 to 52 Bama wouldn't go down easily though the inbound pass to 21 and he easily gets the lay and then MSU's D steps up late in the game on the turnover Jamont Gordon goes coast to coast in the one-handed jam basically seals the deal State wins big by 10, 66 to 56. Well, number eight, Old Miss also taking a road trip. Auburn's Dwayne Reed gets a good look. Nothing but net. The Tigers take a nine-point lead. Reb's trying to make a comeback. Chris Warren from way back. It's off the balance. Then Dwayne Curtis is there, fortunately, to save the day. Ole Miss down by 10 now. Another one for three-point land. That's off the mark. Rebs get the rebound and get it to freshman Warren, who seals it this time. Ole Miss finally takes the lead there. Then deep in the second half, under a minute to play. Ole Miss David Huertas misses the jumper. Curtis saves it again. Now they're running out of time. Warren with a desperation shot. And what do you know? Auburn wins this one 80 to 77. Well, the Magnolia State might be a little torn in making a pick in the NFC Championship with QB's Brett Favre and Eli Manning both having ties to Mississippi. The championship shirts, of course, have already been printed. The question is which one of these is going on the clean? Clearance rack. The Packers and Giants both prepping for Sunday's big match. And it looks the 12th man may be Mother Nature in this one. Temperatures are supposed to drop into the single digits. Should be one up for Farvin the Packers, but they're prepping by freezing their footballs. You see that guy in the back getting it out of the refrigerator of some sort. But for Manning, he's just trying to test out a new piece of equipment. 
Uh, I wore a glove on my left hand uh, this week, and um, yeah, felt it felt fine, felt good. Uh, I think it just you know, mostly just uh, just to try it out, get some work on it, and, and make a decision whether I want to wear it or not. I think you know really the the main purpose of that just securing the snap. Uh, if it does get cold, if those balls get slick and, and whatnot, just uh, you know having that little extra grip on on your left hand just so you don't you don't drop any uh, snaps or drop any uh, balls. I mean, I'm excited about this game, but I mean my and I'm sure the younger guys are everyone's different but you know can't wait to to play it but and that's fine and that worked for me back then but uh, you know I, I'm sure Sunday morning being able to sleep in a little bit will help uh, as opposed to years past where it was up at four or five in the morning so <laughs> the homeboy is calm and collective under pressure, 38, so he knows what he's doing out there. I guess so, but I don't know how they play when it's so cold like uh, that. Well, that's what they call home field advantage, so definitely will be interesting at Lambeau it Field. It will be. It'll All be a right. cold one. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. Well, as we had to break, a live look at Saturday traffic on I-55 from our Ridgeland Sky Camp, and Ken's back with a final look at weather. If you're thinking about whether you'd be a good candidate for corrective eye surgery, click on Mississippi Experts at WAPT.com. We've got information from doctors at Mississippi Vision Correction Center who will answer your questions and help you improve your vision at WAPT.com. When things go wrong, call Long Electric. Long Electric wants to be your service company. We install, replace, or service meter bases, breaker boxes, receptacles, fluorescent lighting of all types, flood lighting, ceiling fans, and recessed lighting. I'm John Overby with Long Electric. I would like to invite you to call on us with all your electrical service needs. Remember, when things go wrong, call Long. Call Long Electric. For 15 years, it set the standard for other luxury SUVs to follow. Now, Jeep Grand Cherokee has set a new standard with the industry's first ever lifetime powertrain warranty. A lifetime of protection with no deductible and no mileage limit for as long as you own your vehicle. Jeep Grand Cherokee. 15 years of luxury and capability. And that's just the beginning. Now get 0% APR financing plus $2,500 cash allowance on 2008 Grand Cherokee models. A revolution has come to broadcast television, even bigger than the change to color. On February 17, 2009, television goes all digital. But without an upgrade, some TVs will stop working. Find out what you need to do. Call this number or visit DTVAnswers.com to see how you can get free over-the-air digital TV with better picture, better sound, and more channels. See what you're missing. Make sure your TV is DTV. Are you afraid to answer your phone? Are you floating checks three and four days before payday? Has debt taken control of your life? There have been a lot of changes in bankruptcy law that may help you get control back. David Pickett has been practicing bankruptcy law for 25 years and can help guide you through the process. Call to get out of debt or to get your debt consolidated. Call David Pickett, 601-981-4695 in Jackson or 601-833-1190 in Brookhaven. Call David Pickett today. Do you or someone you love suffer from hearing loss? Check out Belltone Hearing Center at WAPT.com's Mississippi Experts page. Belltone sets the world standard for technological innovation and customer satisfaction. Belltone, helping the world hear better. Here's your seven day forecast. After tomorrow's temperatures in the 40s, dry weather through Monday, but rain returns probably Monday night and much of next week looks gloomy and kind of wet. Okay. The winter continues. Yes. Thank you, finally. Ken. Finally tonight, some kids in Madison experience snow for the first time. First time to see snow. <laughs> These two sisters play with the fluffy, cold, white stuff outside their home this morning. The girls made snowballs. They hope to build a snowman. They even help clean off the car. Ooh, boy. Just out having a good time trying to experience that snow. Good for them. Well, that's our news at 6. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here at 10. Have a great night, everyone. Just like